What is the crack, lads? We are back. eFootball 2023. And as you can see, we're in Division 8. So we need to get up the rankings, lads. This is the squad I'm going to use, right? So we have a couple of changes. Salabaz in, Kimmich is in. But the rest of the team, Salah's in as well. The rest of the team remains the same. So we're going to get straight into a match, right? But... I am looking at doing a different squad, right? So I am doing looking for ideas. I'm thinking of doing a Manchester United past and present squad um, and just try a different kind of formation, maybe five at the back uh, with two wingers and a man up front. Obviously, this isn't the team I'm going to be using, but I do have a lot of players that I could use on the reserves for a Manchester United past and present, or else I could do a Premier League um, like, you know, best 11 ever Premier League. So if I was to do Premier League, obviously, uh, I could, you know, I could put Paddy V in there. I could put Modric in there. We could have De Bruyne. Um, we could have a serious, serious team being built there, obviously. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of the players, obviously, that we would have bought and, uh, you know, acquired over the last couple of months playing this game. But yeah, I don't really have a squad there. I'd have to buy pretty much the current Manchester United squad. I'd have to buy Ronaldo up front. I'd have to buy probably the Gea in mid in, uh, at the back. I have Martinez, um, but I would be playing five at the back. So I'd probably have to buy like pretty much like eight players, I think, to fill out the squad and then put in, maybe get skulls from the eFootball point shop or whatever. But let me know what you guys think. I was do going to either do that at Manchester United past and present or else an Arsenal past and present or else we could do like a Premier League past and present or an under 24 squad or whatever. I'm I'm keen to to do something different. I don't want just playing with my superstar squad like all the time. Um even though it's fun, but I think I had better crack when I was actually playing with, you know, the likes of Corona there and stuff like that. So, I don't want to just be con consistently playing because to me lads, right? I'm probably different than most people that play the game. Like I don't need to win every game to get enjoyment out of it. Like I genuinely would prefer to play how I want to play you know possession I know a lot of you guys say that I make mistakes I do make a lot of mistakes and a lot of the stuff that happens is probably my own fault because of the way I'm playing you know if there's a very direct pass on um, sometimes I don't take it because my mind is more on like getting into space and playing the wingers and doing nice dribbles and that's what I enjoy playing it and all right let's so we are actually into a game pretty quick and I've been really enjoying the, the matchmaking seems to be a bit better. Let's see what the squad is looking like. Ronaldinho, you're down, man. Were you out last night again on the lash? Probably had a donor kebab on the way home and the tummy's not feeling the best. You're on the bench today, Ronaldinho. It's as simple as that. But I am going to play Modric, lads. I'm going to play Modric. I'm going to take a look at this guy's team. Oh, look at this guy's team, man. What's he at? I don't even need to... Look, I'm not going to underestimate him. He's playing with all the defaults, but... What is he at, man? You don't need to play with the defaults. Like, you can actually put together a fairly beastly squad for, I would say, 100k now. I'm going to do... Let me know as well, lads, if you want me to do uh, another squad builder because the prices of some players have gone up. I know that the lads at eFootballDB are comparing them and are updating all the prices and stuff. Um, but, yeah, because there's been a couple of rating changes and stuff. It's a nice little angle for the... It's a nice little angle for the stadium, lads. Hello, everybody, and welcome... So this guy is playing with all the defaults and he's got two players in his squad as well. So this should not be this should not be a, a fun game for him. It shouldn't be. I'm wearing my new kits. Well, it depends the connection because if the connection is good, I fancy myself to beat him pretty extensively because it's the difference in uh, in team. You see, that's a stupid pass now for me. I'm back, at, I'm back to my old ways now again. Oh, I sad. I get the chest in the way. So let's let me know what you guys think of the gameplay as well. I, again, it's for every, it's different for everyone, man. Like we are going to be doing a podcast on it. I'm not too sure what time this episode will go up. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be different for everybody. I think as time moves on with the game, and I think that the more you play it, like the more you're probably going to either enjoy it or not enjoy it. But I definitely think that they've they've changed a lot of stuff um, with it. Bang. Oof. I think they've changed a lot of stuff in it that like is noticeable I, I wouldn't say that it's the exact same I still don't think having only played two or three matches in a couple of games offline I don't think overall it's as good as what I was enjoying with V1.0 but I do like the fact that I feel like I have control back and at the end of the day I mean I play games for fun so if you know oh that's lovely spread it out wide it's the wrong option that was the wrong option there I wanted to go out wide with it but I feel like if I need to have control over a game, 
Like, you shouldn't be ever fighting for control over a game. Ever. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's a great ball. Romario! What a save! From the default keeper, you dirtbag. I just need to put this guy away, lads. He's got his oots up front. Look at that. Hello, Modric. Good tackling. I definitely think the dribbling is much better. This guy... Oh my god, the keeper is unreal, lads. Who's this keeper in goals? Is that the default keeper? He's unbelievable. He's better than Donnarumma. Let's see, Pat Makalele's coming short. Carlos is going to hit this. Carlos! And we get the tap in. Oh, we don't! Oh my... Lads, I'm buckling down. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. I do not like the way that this game is shaping up at all. I do not like this at all. This guy... This guy could put me over, lads. Come on, Paddy V. A bad touch from Messi. No. Get back, get back, get back, get back. That'll do. Romario. You've got the pace now, Romario. Yeah, Romario. There we go. We'll take it, lads. It's a walk-in. But I just want to put this guy away. These guys scare me, lads. These guys claim to default teams scare me. Boom! Neymar. Beautiful. So we'll take that first win in Division 8. Hopefully we get the win. And I'll see you guys at kickoff with the next episode. Um, and then his three wingers. This is a very interesting formation. I haven't seen anybody use this before, but I should be able to get at his wings, man. I should, and it should suit me. If somebody tries to compact the midfield up out of it, I should be able to, to do that. That's it. Neymar hit him a shot. This guy's a bit of a baller, lads. He's playing a nice brand of football. Good defending, Messi. We've got a space. See, that's what I'm talking about with these formations. Keep him honest now. There we go. That's grand. Leva! Oh! What a goal. The tricks and the flicks are back from V1.0, lads. That was a free, yeah. I went in with the square. That's stupid for me there. Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz, you're, you're mad for today. But I like that you can spot those kind of, you know, areas of weakness that, that he has in his team. And that's the way it should be. That's the way it was with V1.0. Punish him. If he wants to play that attacking, I need to save this. Oh, he tricked me. What a goal. Oh, he doesn't even want to watch the replay. That was a class goal, lads. I've never, I haven't really conceded one like that before. Lovely ball. Booker T, Spinneroonie. Salah. Oh, what a goal, Salah. Beautiful, worked on the training ground, that one, lads. I just feel there's more control, man. I mean, it's early doors yet, but... Go on, Levy boy. I just feel it's early doors, like, I genuinely do, but it is... It feels like there's more control and more flow to the game. Like, I could see there straight away, the minute I turned him, he was at, he was at sixes and... See what I mean? Oh, Neymar. He's at it again, Neymar is. Oh, that's brilliant defending, lads. From Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, ref, foot block. Surely a penalty. Levy! Rebound! Yes! No, Can, what are you doing? How did you get that? Oh. Oh, Barry. Yeah, deserved equaliser, lads. I'm faffing about at the back there. That's my own fault. I don't mind that. I should have cleared it. I had plenty of times to clear it. 
I don't mind that at all. That's totally my fault. This guy is pressing me. I think that's the only complaint I have with it, is that the pressing is still suiting guys that don't want to learn how to defend. Like, that they just literally just spam the, the defensive side of the game. That's it. Shove into him. Look at this. Like, he's just, you know, there's no, there's no real deterrent to him doing what he's doing. Because he can't, really, he can't really defend me, so he might as well, you know, let the AI defend him. Not saying he's a bad player. It's not got to do with skill levels or anything like that. This guy is obviously a good player. Like, he's not... He knows what he's doing. But, like, the manualness of defending is kind of lost on him because he doesn't really need to do it, you know? Lovely one-two. Please be onside. Oh, dangerous ball in. Yeah, Get in there! I'm beating the press, lads. I'm beating the press, just about. Levy, you're coming off now in a minute, though. Yeah, we've been seen. Whoa, what a goal. Brilliant finish. Brilliant finish. Bellingham. Brilliant finish, lads. It's been a great game. Again, the only complaint I have, the game is flowing, it's fluid, I'm in control. This guy is a fairly decent player. He's auto, you know, he's doing all the meta stuff, you know, that, the, the stuff that works, right? Which, look, fair play to him, you know, he can play however he wants, it's up to him. But, like, the, the dribbles and stuff like that. Oh, I shouldn't have passed it. Oh, he's gifted me! Oh, the highlight, you donkey arse! Oh! All right, lads, we're back again. It's me again, unfortunately. And we're going to change the squad a little bit here. Let me have a look at this guy's team. Oh, man, this guy is playing... What kind of team is this? It definitely has to be a newcomer, man. Definitely has to be a newcomer. Oh, that's a nice ball, ball through. And again... Neymar! Walk it in, that's what you have to do sometimes, lads. I keep running Lewandowski, lads. Lewandowski's coming off. He's coming off. I'm sick of him. I'm actually sick of him now. So I am. Lewandowski, you wouldn't pass to your mother to save your life. I swear, what's wrong with you, like? Oh, Lewandowski. I never doubted ya. What a goal. I never doubted ya. Hold on, Lewandowski, you're a beast. No, no, I accidentally paused it. Ignore that, Lewandowski. I accidentally paused it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Oh, what a call. Ah, uh, no, he's too good, lads, Neymar. Oh, that's four. Game over now. I will say though, lads, even though I'm winning, this is the problem. When you're winning, you don't complain as much. But I, I do genuinely, I, this game does not feel as fluid as the last couple of games that I've played. Like, I'm just being honest. It's not got to do with the result. Obviously, this guy's team is really poor. So I should be able to dominate him regardless. In terms of, like, if I get a half chance with Neymar or Lewandowski or whoever, I'm going to score because the players are so good. But it doesn't feel as fluid or as smooth are responsive the players just seem to be like not as aware of their kind of surroundings or whatever there we go promotion is secured lads it's been a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a damp squid of a game no that's what i'll say it was because there was never a fear once i got the third goal that i was going to lose that one but yeah that guy's team just i mean wasn't wasn't going to be able to compete with mine
And that's why I do want to play with like a lesser skilled team just to see, you know, so I improve at the game a little bit. But we do get promoted, lads. We do get promoted. We will be happy with that. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get up to Division 6 and keep going. We do get our 1,700 eFootball points for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, we had one close game. Um, I think the game is playing okay, man. I just think that game was a little bit a little bit iffy compared to the other four or five games that I played. But um, yeah, I am probably going to play against the AI in a couple as well, if you guys would be interested in seeing that. But let me know. Let me know. I might just do a couple of one-off games. But um, yeah, let me know what the crack is. Let me know if you're enjoying the series. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know if you want to see any specific videos as well. I'll be back quite soon. I hope you guys enjoy the weekend and have a good one. And uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying your games and that it plays well for you as well. But until next time, lads, don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos. I will talk to you later. Peace.